Okay, friends and neighbors, that was the close-up. I showed you the two-finger and the overhand style for how I play. I'm going to Georgia. A lot of people also call it, I'm troubled, I'm troubled. I'm troubled in mind. A lot of bluegrassers call it, I'm troubled. Um, another title, I've seen it in a, in a book of cowboy songs where it was actually called um, Feet in the Stirrups. But anyhow, same song. I call it I'm going to Georgia because I am a Georgia boy. So I learned this piece of music from a couple of, well, the same guy, Lawrence Eller is the guy's name, Lawrence Eller of Towns County, Georgia. He was recorded a couple of times by Art Rosenbaum in the 1980s. Um, so you can, get, you can get a hold of that recording a couple of different places. You can get it on Art Rosenbaum's Art of Field Recording compilation. Volume 2, definitely. And you can get a hold of it on the Digital Library of Georgia website. You just look up Banjo or look up Lawrence Eller, you'll find it. Uh, and he does several different versions, so it's pretty cool. Anyhow, the banjo tuning is G, D, G, B, D. Um, and I'm going to jump into the verbal rundown here. For those of you who want to learn from Tablature, I'll throw a link up right here. If you click on that link, it'll take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very modest monthly contribution, or you can pay annually. It's very cheap, just a few dollars a year. Uh, you'll get the tabs for this and all the other pieces that we teach here on this channel. Okay, so for everybody else who just wants the verbal rundown, um, this can be a very, it's a very simple tune. Um, it's just it's just one part over and over again. You play a part, you sing a part, you play a part, you sing a part. Very typical banjo song. And um, you can also play it using just the bottom three strings of the banjo and the thumb string. You don't even need a, a fourth bass string on your banjo to play this piece, which is sort of an indicator that the way it's arranged in just one part repeated and the fact that you can play it on just three strings of the banjo, that is you know, potentially an indicator that we're dealing with an older, earlier banjo song here, possibly, you know, early 1800s, late 1700s type of piece. And it's so widespread, too. That's another indicator. So, anyhow, the way I like to play it, Eller plays it a little different from me. If you look at the video on Digital Library of Georgia, you'll see he plays a very simple, straightforward um, way on this one. But I like to do it a little bit more complex. So, I like to start by sliding. You can either just hit the first string open, but I like to slide on the third string from the second fret to the fourth. Then I hit the first string open. Then I slide up on the third string from the third fret to the second. Then I play that third string open. That gives you, I'm going to Georgia. Now how do you get I'm going to Rome? You got to slide on the first string from the second fret to the fifth. And then you're going to quickly come back up to the second fret. Then play the first string open. That's how you get I'm going to Rome. So I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to Rome. Then you're going to ride that first string a little bit more. I'm going to Georgia. Going to make it. <laughs> I messed it up there. Okay, so what I do, I come back up, slide back up, and I do a little double ditty on there on the first string of the second fret. And then I like to do a hard bend on the third string at the second fret. I come up and I hit the bass string real real quick and then I end on the third string open. Like I said, it's not even necessary to do the bass string. You can do... You can play the whole thing on the, um, on the third string. So, hell, that's pretty much how you play the piece.